Let's play Master of Orion some more. Right now we're having an epic battle. So let's battle epically. I'm horribly outnumbered, so I'm only going to go forward a little bit and shoot a little bit. I'm going to have to rely on the missile bases on this planet to do... Holy cow! Did you guys see that? I just mowed down a lot of them. Okay, run this way. Gonna have to rely on my planet to do a lot of the work, but that's okay. It appears to be up for it. Boom. I'm the Boom King. This is my boom stick. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Eh? Those were lots of good songs, eh, everybody? A colossal defeat for the enemy. That's awesome. Yet, yeah, it's going to be Darlock killing time soon, which is very good, because I'm excited about that. And I would love to finally get revenge for the many sins they have committed against my people. And then we'll wipe out the humans, because we both know we've all been looking forward to that. I used to feel bad about doing it. I guess this game has encouraged me to have some slightly bad tendencies when you kind of become more and more accustomed to wiping out your own race, but yeah. I do like how in Master of Orion 2, which is the sequel to this game, um, I know it's ambiguous title makes it hard to tell these things, but uh, you don't have to commit genocide, you just destroy the political empire, which I like, because I feel less unethical doing that sort of crap. Um, Alright, a couple big technologies on the way. Nothing that's going to really change how I go about invading, invading everybody, so... Let's uh let's go for it. I don't have any real effective bombing ships, so I'll check out the Darlock's defensive technology. Oh! Goodbye, Neptunus. That's bad for the Bulrathi. Like, they just totally lost a planet. If we go there now, it'll be one of those um like barren systems where it says there's no planets at all. That's a bad thing for them. And there it is. And there's the fleet that failed to do anything. wonder how it feels to be in that fleet right now. Ah. Uh, because they did kind of... Their failure did allow a planet to be destroyed. I mean, not to rub it in, but... That's pretty bad. It's like the plot of Armageddon. A truly great movie. Hmm. <laughs> not so much. And yeah, I just did that thing where I said something and then was like, Not... So I'm really sorry about that, everybody. I don't know what came over me. I can't begin to apologize enough. Alright, let's take a crack at Volantis, which sounds kind of like Atlantis to me. Maybe not quite as mysterious. And I'm going to foolishly abandon Celia because this is going to be a big fight. shoot down some of you guys. I think most of my bombs are located on these eight guys, so I'm going to hopefully be able to protect them a bit. Uh, shoot you down. Swoop in, drop some... Ah, oh, dang it. I should actually be fo with my big guy. I should be focusing entirely against their big ship, because uh, I'm getting a little bit of lag on my end. Sorry, everybody. I don't know if that's going to come through on the recording. This game is not supposed to be that hard on the processor, so I'm gonna level with you guys. Computers weren't quite as advanced when this thing, when this game came out. Right. Mega Bolt Cannon. It looks like they're intent to keep mowing away on that one, so that's good. Oh, 
Holy cow, that didn't go well. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have the firepower to really take out their planets, which is probably going to be bad since it's just me and the planet coming up here. Drop a couple bombs, see your death. This ship is totally toast soon. I can't approach it though, so I don't know everybody. I don't see how uh, I can win this in the long run. How many ships can they take out in one hit? One ship a turn, yeah. Sorry everybody, we gotta get out of here. Gonna have to fight the Darlocks again some other day. Hail! You offer me your undying loyalty and allegiance? Even if I believed that, I would still say no. I am fully opposed to alliances in this game. Um, you tend to get dragged into wars you don't want to be in. Uh, and I say that in a negative way. Alright, everybody run away. Wait, I know, the Darlocks have bombs that I want. So if I can steal it from them somehow. Alright. Let's take a look at our options. Zoktan has fewer missile bases. Hmm. They all have missile bases. I wonder if I could still invade the planet. It never seems to work when I do it. The computer always seems to get some planets through missile or some transports through missile bases. That does not seem to be the case with me. I guess I can try stealing from them. That usually doesn't end well against them, but I can try. Because, yeah, I would really like a few of these technologies, actually. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, you run. And some fun, posh-sounding music in the background. So we're at a bit of a standstill in our war. Yeah, now you threaten me. I thought we were going to be friends. Some sort of crazy race. I dump you and then you just start talking about how I'm a plague and you need to wipe me out. Thanks for nothing. As a matter of fact, I should do something about that. That makes me angry. None of your technology really impresses me, but I will steal it nonetheless. I don't mind getting framed. I'm not that worried about you guys. I'm more worried about my inability to destroy a Darlock colony. Yeah? You guys want to fight me there? Be my guest. Whoops. We'll end this fight and then it should be the end of the video because, yeah, it'll go on for a little while, but I don't think it'll ever be close. Boom. Can we take out two? No. I like how they're learning to fear me. That part makes me happy. Look at them run. Good win, everybody, and some good technology. Uh, I'm going to go for complete eco-restoration now. A threat from the humans. And all right, end of the turn. Next time on Master of Orion, hopefully a tech breakthrough so I can take out those freaking Darlocks.